the timing uh, comes, uh, the decision came really after about a year of thinking about it, uh, then having conversations with, my, of course, my wife and my children and close friends, and it just seems that this is the right time to do it. Well, I think it's been a remarkable time in the history of our school. Um, at the outset, the overall objective was to be recognized uh, as one of America's great public universities. Uh, most recently, Forbes Incorporated ranked the top universities in the country, and we were ranked 23rd among the top, uh, among the public universities in America. One of the major goals was to attract a chapter of Phi Beta Kappa, and, and that was done. There was a lot of work by a lot of people, a lot of investment, a lot of financial resources by a lot of alumni as well. Uh, we set out to have an honors college, and the Sally McDonald and Boxdale Honors College has achieved national status, and wonderful students have come. Uh, we've announced our 25th Rhodes Scholar. Uh, our football team just had a remarkable weekend in Dallas. Uh, facilities across the campus really have been improved. But most of all, and this was really sort of my goal, just personal, private goal, is I wanted the people of Ole Miss and the people of Mississippi to feel good about themselves. And I felt that this university was probably the best vehicle, the best organization, the best public entity to lift up the people of this state. For so long, Mississippi uh, has been on the wrong end of both the good list and the bad list. We're top on the bad list and bottom on the good list. And I thought Ole Miss ought to do something about that. And, and we tried. And I think that the presidential debate that we hosted in September probably enabled us to make that move in public perception, and I hope in self-perception, because this state responded and this university staff and faculty and students responded in ways that are uncommon. And so I'm hoping that if there's any statement that's made about what we've done since 1995, it is that we have enhanced the way we are perceived and the way we perceive ourselves. The first thing we're going to do is take a little break and rest for a month or so. And then I have some opportunities with some national organizations to, to be involved. Uh, a foundation, for one, that we've had some preliminary conversations. And then I'll, I'll be available for other kinds of opportunities. I'd like to continue to the extent that I'm needed to be of service to Mississippi particularly in the educational areas. Hmm. I tried to do the best I could do. I, I, think I, can, uh, I think I can honestly say that I, I gave it the best that I had to give. Now, like everybody else, I'm a flawed human being, and I don't have every strength that a person needs to do a job. Uh, there are certainly deficiencies that I understand, but I did have sense enough to ask people who were smarter than I am and better than I am at what they do to take responsibility for those areas. And I could name, I really could name a hundred uh, easily. Uh, and so I would say that I gave it my best shot. I feel like I did my part, but the result of uh, the results that we can celebrate really are attributable to, as I said, thousands of people. If you have something that I, I just didn't hit on that you would like to get? That... I would just say that uh, a person uh, who is blessed or fortunate enough to be able to spend his or her professional career involved with a, a group of people uh, who he not only respects but loves, uh, engaged in what I consider to be noble work, trying to provide opportunities for students and, and trying to help move your state forward is, is a person who's really fortunate. And this came as a great surprise to me that I had this opportunity. And I, will, of course, will be forever grateful for it. Thank you so much. Thank you.